Hello everyone, in today's quick learning bites, we'll be talking about the Cobnus phenomena, also called as the isomorphic phenomena. Iso means same, morpho means morphology. So here we have lesions of same morphology appearing at sites of trauma. Generally happens within 7 to 10 days of the trauma and this is an all or none phenomena. Means if Cobnus phenomena has to happen, it will happen at all sites of trauma or it won't happen. Further, the scopeness phenomena is a marker of the activity of the disease. If the disease is active, it is severe, there are higher chances of scopeness phenomena happening. Now, we have two types of scopeness, the true scopeness phenomena and the pseudo scopeness phenomena. The true scopeness phenomena is seen in autoimmune disorders, which you can remember by a mnemonic that is matching my name, which is PLV, PLV. So P here is for psoriasis, L is for lichen planus and V is for vitiligo. So these are the autoimmune disorders where you see coldness. Some rarer disorders like erythema multiforme, DLE, they may also sometimes show coldness phenomena. These are just for strictly those multiple choice questions where you may be given these options as well. Otherwise, the three important PLV you remember for the true coldness. Then we have the pseudocobnus phenomena. Pseudocobnus is generally seen in viral infections which spread by auto inoculation. The two important ones here are the verruca or the viral warts caused by the human papilloma virus or the molluscum contagiosum which is caused by the molluscum pox virus. Thank you.